Hello everyone, welcome back. You are doing a great job. We understand many things. Today we will talk about very important topic, which is on delete cascade, on delete set now. What this mean? To understand this lesson, let's go to the exercises. First thing, we will understand something called on delete cascade. Now let's execute this statement, delete from departments. I will try to execute this statement and it will give me error, integrity constraint and it will give you the constraint name violated child record found. Because the department table is a master table, there is a foreign key from table employees refer to this table because you cannot delete departments and there is already employees exist in employee table working in this department. So in order to make this delete statement, you have to go first to the employee tables to delete all the employees, then delete the department table, okay? But Oracle give you a nice option called on delete cascade. Now let's clear and start doing this exercise. I will create table master called dept1 and I will create table called EMP1 and I will make it exactly same employees and department table. So this is a good exercise for you. Create table dept1, dept and o number, d name varkar to 100 and I make constraint dept1 underscore pk primary key dept and o. So I create table with two columns and I make the dept and o as a primary key. I will execute this create and the table created. Now I will insert values on this table. I will answer to department, department one, and the name is HR dipped, and also department two, the name is PO dipped, and I will commit. So I will execute this script. One row inserted, one row inserted, commit completed. I will make select star from dit one to make sure. So I have two departments, department one, HR dipped and department two, BO dipped. Now I will create table called EMP1 and I will make a foreign key from this table refer to table dipped one. So create table EMP1, EMP ID number, primary key. So here I use a column syntax to put the constraint and I didn't mention any constraint name. In this way, Oracle will name the constraint sys underscore c and give it a number. Okay, very nice practice. And ename varkar to 100, dipped and o number, and I make a constraint called emp1 fk foreign key, dipped and o, which is this column. References into dipped one, the table that we created up, to dipped and o column, and I put here something called on delete cascade. So what is the purpose of this? I will tell you what is the purpose of this. So now I will create this table. Table created. So now I created two table. The dipped one is a master table and the EMP one is a detail table. Now I will insert into the EMP table five records, three employees working in department one and two employee working in department two. So I will insert employee one, Khalid, two, Ali, three, Ahmed working in department one. I will execute this statement and I will insert employee four and five, Rania, Lara working in department two. And I will commit. I will select star from the table EMP one. And this is the result. So I have the three employees working in department one and two employees working in department two. So now when I make delete from dipped one where dipped and O equal one, now it will not give me error because I put here on delete cascade. So when I make this statement, the Oracle server will go to the employee table and remove the record who's working in department one, then he will delete the department one. So it's a very nice. So now I will execute this delete statement and one row deleted. Now if I make select star from EMP one, 
you will find that I have only four and five. So the employee one and two and three has been removed or deleted from the table. So this is on delete cascade. This means that when you delete the master record, Oracle will go to the detailed record in other tables and remove it. That's it. Another option we have on delete set null. I think that you understand this. So this means that when you try to delete a master table, then Oracle will go to the detail table and make the value null. So he will not delete, he will make it null. So now I will do the same exercise. I will make dip2 with the same constraint. I will answer two values and comment with the same. Then I will select the star from dip2. I have two departments, one and two. Then I will create table EMP2 and I will make dip and O foreign key references to this table. But here I will put on delete set null. So I will create this table. Table created. Then I will answer the same values. Three employees working in department one and two employees working in department two. And I will comment. I will execute the script. Then I will query the table. So I have three employees working in department one and two employees working in department two. Now, when I make delete from dipped, where dipped are no equal one, when I try to remove the record master from departments, what will happen? I will query now the EMP2 and I will find that the Oracle make the dipped and O as null. So this is the differences between on delete cascade and on delete set null. So today we took a very nice example. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.